Welcome to Sunday. <laughs> How are you doing? You alright? Okie doke. Straight to it, shall we? Another warm one in Wales. Another warm one. Okay, so there might be not, not just water in the sink, but it may appear magically on the head. As usual. Right, no towel there hanging, as usual. I've got it here. They've all been washed together, so fresh one there. And this one here just to wipe the brow. Okay. So how are you doing? You person, how are you doing? All right? I hope so. Um, like I said in my last shave, we're going to have a, been using some quite... Uh, different, um, some very high-end, um, all sorts of shaving products in the last few shaves. Very lucky to do so. Um, but my heart always wishes not to forget how I started and how many people started. One of the first, besides palm olive, shaving soaps I ever bought was um, these. And the reason I, oh, that sent. The reason I bought this was through a chap called Steve Farragher. Those that have been with me on this channel since the beginning will know who he is. And he did. He's from Liverpool. He did shaving videos. Doesn't do many these days. Quite a busy man. Does a lot of charity work and uh, a lot of businesses he runs. But um, Arco and it comes in a stick and it comes in a tub like that. And uh, what I did with one of these was I got one of Steve's first edition scuttles don't know if you can get these now this is one of the first ones and a second one came out second generation so we say um and i pressed to marker you might see it down there soft and pressed it you know inside there's nothing inside this there's no hot water nothing <sighs> maybe iced water and i've bloomed it you can't oh yeah yeah you can see so um, i'll use that as a pre-shave this soap always works well bloomed um, where are we now? That's it. So, brush. I'm going to use the Paul H Films brush, which is the cashmere synthetic. Here, I'm not sure of these. I think they've sold out now. Um, I think they have, yeah. So, I won't put a link to it. There's no point. Um, but I, no, I will put a link just in case. But don't. If there's nothing there, I'm sorry. I'm not sure, you see. I'm sure she said they've sold out a while ago. But um, that's that. Use that one. Uh, and that's it for now. Let's wet the face. Hold on. Use this um, blue water. Nice relaxing Sunday shave, I thought. Bit of a Turkish shave. It. used to use this a lot in the beginning and uh, didn't have nowhere near the stuff I've got now right what are you doing today then what shaves are you having what are you using that's another thing I, I see a lot of people posting on Facebook uh, the shave of the days, that's nice. Mrs. H is over there in the Facebook. So here we go. There is ridges, fine ridges in that scuttle, if you can see it. Not sure if I tried this brush with the, with the arco before. The way I do this is you're turning but pumping as well, so you're pressing, so turn and press and press them. And then it sort of creates this edge of cream. Arco, very simple, very simple scent. Some people don't like it. I like it myself. Um, I prefer the Derby scent out of the two, if I choke, because they're very similar soaps, Derby and Arco. I find very very similar but, um, except in scent but I always enjoy the old simple simple things in life 
Mm. Your synthetic done well there. Is it warm where you are? It is going to change today though. Um, cloudier, maybe a few showers, cooler. And I'm not sure if there's a bit of wind in there. Or they're saying all that because they're going to be writing at one point of the day so it makes them look good. <laughs> right. Razor, which is down here which I forgot to bring up. Excuse me one minute, thank you. And here we go. It's a very simple, something I used a lot of again years ago. Uh, this is a Boots the Chemist razor. Um, very similar to the Gillette 7 o'clock uh, these days, because uh, they don't sell them in Boots now. A lot of overhang there. Um, and there's a Persona Red, third use blade so I've heated it up like I'm heating up here and then uh, here we go beautiful Very simple, very relaxing, nothing expensive. Yeah, very simple, three piece, non adjustable. A lot of overhang to be aware of on this. Um, Aggression for me on this, on always on the first pass, it's uh, mid, and then after this sort of major layer of whiskers has been removed, obviously there's more skin exposed, and it'll feel. More aggressive. Nice and gently does it. That blade feels nice. Third use, well. Beautiful. Our coat performs lovely and it'll get slick as we go. Um, yeah, so it's a mid aggression on the first pass in feeling, and then from the second, third, and pickups, baby, it'll be probably mid to aggressive, just slightly up, you know, not aggressive, but just between. Um, for me, of course. There we go. So what's on the agenda? Or what have you been doing yesterday or this week? Are you a lot of uh, are you off with your children if you got any? Are you on holiday? Vacation? <laughs> Here we go. I was listening to a chap on on the radio, and uh, he said, "I won't be here next week. I'm going on holiday to America with my son. It's a road trip we've both always wanted to do, and he's going from San Francisco to uh, Los Angeles. Well, Los Angeles to San Francisco. I'm not sure which way he's doing it, but uh, something he's always wanted to do. It's nice that memories with his son and." Great. 
So how's it going now? There we go. Proper lather. Hey, with a brush. <laughs> Second pass across the growth. Boots razor, no longer available. Persona red, third use. I nearly put two fingers up then, but I can count. Third use. And there's no signs. See that overhang? Be careful of the old snout, baby. There's no uh, signs as yet of it uh, losing its edge, so we, should we say? Should we say? Sean Connery's here again. Oh, Miss Moneypenny. Oh, Mr. Bond, I've been expecting you. <laughs> Look at that, already. Mish money penny. A funny thing, um, A lot of, I can't remember if it's people, as in peasantry like us, <laughs> or whether it's the other film stars or interviewers said that Sean Connery's not a very nice man. Um, he can be quite arrogant and rude, which is uh, strange, isn't it, white people? Because if it wasn't for the public, they wouldn't be there, would they? Yeah, look at this. We've got a bit of claret today. Lovely. As I say, this is a mid heading now towards aggressive. And we should have a couple of red spots to show that. Well, I'm not going to say hopefully, but there is one or two there. Very slick, lovely, nice. Basic scent, soap. Wham, bam, does the job. Thank you very much. Oh, I keep forgetting. Yeah, so it's quite a warm one. Quite a warm one in the bathroom. Here we go, third. Application, creamy, beautiful. Third one. So what we have in for Sunday dinner? Well, it's going to be, uh, well, funny enough, I've bought um, what they call, uh, not belly pork, not the full belly pork piece. It's a bit thinner, it was a bit cheaper, so it's mainly for crackling pork rinds, whatever. A big sheet like that, and you cook it, blister it, and then break it up and eat away at your leisure, especially with the, when you've salted it and you're having a few beers whew, baby, from the fridge. But anyway, that's going to be cooked separate as a treat thing. But I'm doing pork chops. Rind on, yeah, we've got more crackling than we've got. <laughs> uh, Gain to growth. Rind on, I've got some potatoes called, uh, Welsh potatoes called Blasseteer Pembrokeshire New Potatoes, steamed. I steam them as I shown in the video last time, in my Sunday dinner video on the other channel. Eh? Um, There was a link to that on the last shave on Wednesday at the end. If anybody wants to see it. Um, steamed uh, sprouts. We've got runner beans and they be steamed. 
see that. And what else we got? Well, of course, yeah, Lashento's a gravy. Can't forget that. Homemade gravy. Wow. That's nice. So potatoes, sprouts, beans, runner beans, uh, what does I say? Pork chop and gravy. I'll set a plate. If you're hungry, I'll set a plate out for you, all right? Good razor for doing lip corners and under nostrils. Fantastic. That's lovely, third pass. So get yourself ready. You know what pass this is gonna be. And people ask you, you know, about air conditioning. I think if this weather carries on every year for sort of even if it's a matter of weeks, I think I will get an AC unit in here. Well, maybe not in here, but in the house. And then open the doors and cool it off, baby. Ooh. Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. A lot of baby about it. I'm a baby. You big baby. There we go. Oh, I've had an accident. Oh, have you heard that thing? <laughs> anyway, we won't go there. Same old rubbish. Come on. Here we go. Boots the chemist. Their own, well, made for them. D razor. Very simple, very basic. Does the job. Medium, heading towards aggressive. Persona red. Third use. Very nice, feels nice. Arco soap, bloomed in water. Bloom water used as a pre-shave. And then Paul H brush, cashmere synthetic. To lather it up and it's, everything's worked well. These red bits are my fault, overdoing it and not concentrating and talking. It's all right for you. You have peace in your shave, don't you? Well, unless you've got a wife and children that may be... Dad, excuse me, darling, darling. I get, oi, no. I'd love to try a left-hand drive car. It'd be funny, wouldn't it? Yeah. Excellent slickness. Allows the blood to flow beautifully. I'm done. Lovely. So we'll use now a styptic pencil. 
very worn styptic pencil just wet the edge wipe that and you should feel a sting but they should if left for a minute stop the bleeding we'll clean that okay and uh, I'll leave you to it you good people do you want an overview of what we've used then quickly? Boots the Chemist D Razor, three piece non adjustable. Persona Red Blade, third use, fantastic. Paul H Films Cashmere Synthetic Brush. The Big Shave, first edition scuttle. Steve brought me this himself. Um, pressed in Arco stick, which is always left in this one now, um, which is bloomed and all that sort of stuff. That's lovely. And then we've just done the pickups. We've used a styptic pencil. As you can see, the bleeding has stopped. And then we're going to my own witch hazel and tea tree. Love Sundays, do you? And what I do now, um, I used to pop upstairs, not that you're interested in what I do, but I go down to start after this now, go down, start the dinner preparations, um, cooking, and I take the laptop down and I can read the comments, do a bit more cooking, read the comments. Thank you so much. Now this is my favourite scent of Arco, Arco Action. They have a nice one, there's, some, there's a gold, I've got their platinum. They're very nice, sort of high-end scents uh, they're meant to be. But the old-fashioned Arc, this is a what I class as a classic aftershave scent. Very strong. You'll sting after this one. Oh, oh. Hey, you'll be screaming, I tell you, if you had some Rizzlers on you. Oh, oh. <laughs> right. And, the, oh, this stuff. Arco cream, but it's got some olive oil in it. And uh, hence the colour's a bit uh, green, a bit sort of pea green. Quite a thick cream, this. For a thick person, so. Well, well matched. Don't need a lot, but okay. I had a good question. Um, I can't remember where it's on the channel or on Facebook. Was it somebody sent a message us? No, it must have been Facebook because it was a message. I think. Um, I've just started using moisture cream and all this sort of aftershave balms, but. Uh, What did he say? He believed, oh yeah, it's bad if you don't moisturise. But is it bad if I add too much? Good question, that. Now that depends on your skin. If you've got greasy, sort of spotty skin, the last thing you want to do is add loads of this sort of stuff. Or something, you know, it's just, it'll clog and greasy skin. Depends on your skin. But a thin layer... Um, if you have spot trouble or something or skin irritation, go for the sort of natural, organic if you can. They are dear, some of them, but go down that road. But um, luckily I can put anything on this old rhino leather. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll keep them too long. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Stay cool if you're hot. And um, have some great shaves. Stay happy. Keep the old gnashes showing. And I'll see you on Wednesday. I think we'll be using another, uh, lots of soaps to use there, another brush to use. So there's plenty going on, um, which I'll share with the enemy. So see you Wednesday in the midweek shave. Take care and all the best. Keep smiling, baby.